Hi everybody. I have had a lot of people uh, private message me asking me how I piece my designs together. So I thought I would show uh, a video of how to do that. So I'm gonna start in a silhouette. I like to, so let's say this is my PNG that I just opened up of my design. So I really, really like to um, download an image of the mat and size it to the actual size of the mat, which is 18 inches tall by 30 inches wide or whatever type mat you're using. I would strongly suggest you download the mat because then you can see exactly how it's gonna fit within the mat. So then I'm just gonna copy my image and move it over and paste it to my mat. And as you can see, if I had just printed that out, then it would be a little bit smaller than what I like for my mats. This mat is supposed to be a bleed into the top of the rubber part. And when I'm talking about bleed, what I'm saying is that the sublimation that you're doing is going to go off of the sublima sublimatable area. So this, this rubber right here is not gonna accept sublimation, but that's, ob that's okay. I can overlap my image just a little bit and it's supposed to go off the side of the mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and size it to the size that I want. And I usually like my, I usually like my designs to cover most of the mat area. And then I am going to move my mat down here so that I can just work with my design. And I always like to get this out of the way first thing. So I'm gonna flip horizontally. So I, basically I'm mirroring it. So when I print it, it'll be, the words will be correct. But I like to do that first thing because otherwise I'll forget. And then if you go over here to your knife tool, I'm gonna go right here about, let's do this. I'm gonna move my cat my, the edge of my design all the way to the zero and I can print um, so I've gotten out of the habit of using of using silhouette I don't use it very often anymore um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my knife and go to 12 and a half so that I fit it all easily onto my sheet I'm printing and I'm going to use my knife and I'm gonna push the, sol the shift button at the same time. And that's gonna ensure that I get a straight line. And bring it down, release this, then release the shift. And as you can see, it's, it has separated my mat. Um, with this, it cuts it into all of these sections into different parts. And so you just have to take your, um, selection tool so you can left click and then go down to and I'm going to do one more thing all right and then you're going to right click and you're going to group that all together so if you move, if you look there, and it looks like I missed, uh, I missed a polka dot and I missed the very bottom of this flower. So I'm going to hold shift down and click on the polka dot and then I'm gonna click on the flower. And then I'm gonna go up here and put group again. And now I have half of my design. Then I'm gonna do the same thing and there was something in here that I didn't like, so let me just see if I can take that out. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and group that whole side. Okay, and I already have, let me open a, so I'm gonna open a new file and I'm gonna go over here, you do not want the machine picked, you want none. And you're gonna do a width of 13 and a height of 19. 
<coughs> excuse me. Then you're gonna right click and copy one side, bring it over, paste it. And as you can see, you've got it, it's great to be able to print. So then I've already pre-printed, so I wouldn't take forever with the video. So I would go ahead and print and then follow the same steps again. Um, move this one over to the side just in case you have any problems or you need to print multiple ones or there's always something that can go wrong. And then I would copy this one, bring it over and paste it as well. And occasionally you have to um, go like this. This is a little bit longer design. So I would go ahead and just turn it sideways and print it that way. So there is my, um, how I do my center. Now I'll show you how. So I have, like I said, pre-printed. So I will take one side. I will leave, if you can see there's some border, there's some um, extra on this side. I leave that and then I will just cut one side of it. So I'm gonna cut this so that it is right next to my design. One thing you wanna be really careful about is that you don't want to have any white showing along there or it will show up in your design. Then I take the part that has the leftover edge and I lay that down upside down. And you're gonna to wanna to take the back of the side that you wanna connect. So the, the cut edge is the side you want to, to tape. So I just take regular scotch tape and I start at this end and make sure you go down this way, smoothing it so that you don't get puckers in your paper. And you can see I leave about a half an inch lip on that. And then I bring this design over. And I always, um, tr the reason I leave this lip of paper is because in Photoshop, you can overlap just a little bit. In Silhouette, you cannot. And so I leave that little lip of paper so that I have some extra, um, some extra paper to work with instead of being at the very end. So if you can see, that lines my design up perfectly. Then I always go back on the back and I will put one more layer of tape on the mats. There are some things when you're piecing designs together, I would be cautious how much tape you put uh, because it can make it press uneven, particularly with your hard substrates. But on the mats, it does not seem to make any difference. And I have had where I've taped not enough and um, it, will, it will gap just a little bit and then there'll be a line. So this way you don't get any line. Then right before I press, I like to go as close to the design as I can, just because it's easier for me to line it up and make sure that it's straight. And on this design, you can actually go right to the top because you're gonna want, if you remember, you're gonna want that top to bleed into your rubber mop part so that it hangs over. And I will attach a picture, it's a mock-up, I haven't taken a picture of one of these yet, but I will attach a mock-up of what the whole design looks like. Thank you.